This is the Orba 2, a sampler, synth, and MIDI controller in an incredibly small handheld little device. Now, I've already made one video about the main features of the Orba 2, things like the synth engines, its features, its touch capabilities, and its sampler. And in this video, I'm gonna take a closer look at the MIDI capabilities and show you how you can use the Orba 2 as a MIDI controller. Now, I will cover three very useful ways that you can use the Orba 2 in your music production. Some are meant for beginners and some are suitable for more advanced users. Okay, so now I have connected the Orba to my computer. And since I'm using PC, I had to use a BLE connector or adapter, and I'll leave the link for that in the description. So first, I just wanna show you how beginners will probably benefit from the Orba 2. Now, when you first start out playing and making music, it can be hard to know what keys to play in, and if you don't have great piano skills, it can be very hard to know how to make good sounding chords that work together. And the Orba 2 kind of takes out the guesswork of this. And it can be a great way if you don't have a lot of experience to just straight away start playing good chords that sound well together. So let me show you what I mean. So here on the screen, you can see we have a piano VST loaded up. And the Orba 2 is set to the chord setting on the number three pad here. And notice now what happens when I press of one pad. Then we have an A minor, G major with a B in the bass, C major, D minor, and so forth. So this is an extremely simple way of laying down chords. So I have another instrument loaded here called Lo-Fi Glow by Native Instruments. And I can show you what happens when we make a little clip. Now down here, you will see as we start playing that the MIDI chords will appear. So let's just make a little clip. Just like that, we have a clip. So that's very easy and I can't really think of any other MIDI devices that makes it that easy to lay down chords. So next let's go to the drum setting and you do that by pressing A and the one pad. And here you can see that we have a drum rack loaded in. The layout of the notes on the Orba 2 actually works fairly well with drum racks in Ableton. So you notice on number one you have the kick, two you have the snare, three you have a closed hi-hat, you have some cymbals and toms up here. And the eight is kind of out of the scope. Same with the shaking. But the clap is within scope. So let's quickly lay down a beat. So just like that, we just played it as a drum and we got a pretty nice little drum line in there. Next, let's go to bass. We have a Rickenbacker bass loaded in. There we have a little bass line as well. And then finally we have the lead, which is normally tuned in a pentatonic scale. So you have some presets in the app where you can change it to a diatonic, but most of the presets are in a pentatonic scale. So that sounds like this. So this was a little bit about how beginners easily can use Orba 2 in order to get their music production started and how it really removes the need to know a lot of music theory, which is great if you're just beginning. Next, let's look at how this can be useful for someone with more experience. Certain virtual instruments need expression controls in order to sound good. And some of my favorite plugins to show the importance of expression controllers are the orchestral plugins by Spitfire Audio. 
And if you've seen my previous video about the digital wind instrument, you may have seen me showcasing the plugin Intimate Strings. And I want to show you a really cool feature on how you can use the Orba 2 as an expression controller. Now the Orba 2 has several MPE controls and you can use a touchpad for changing pitch and vibratos and things like that. But my favorite feature is the tilt feature. Now look at the plugin I have loaded up here. And as I'm moving, the expression controllers are going up and down. Okay, and now let me show you what it sounds like when we're using the tilt for expression. So if it's in the neutral position, you'll hear nothing. Now I can change the volume, the expression and intensity all by just tilting the Orba 2. And this is super useful and you can also use it together with a regular MIDI keyboard and you can play chords with one hand, the Orba 2 as an expression controller with the other hand. And this works on different in other instruments as well. I can, sh I can show you this, um, just a Ableton stock wavetable plugin. And you can see. So you can change the position and type for the wave shapes. And this can, of course, also be customized. And in the Orba 2 instruction manual, you'll find all the CC numbers so that you can MIDI map anything to the various controllers. Like you can spin it, you can shake it, you can tilt it like we just showed you. So that's a very cool feature. And I think maybe the most useful for more advanced users and for users that are proficient piano players and that know how to play MIDI keyboards and don't really need help to lay down chords. Now, the third use I think people may benefit from with the Orba is when you're having it with you. And this is kind of how they market this device. That It's a device that you can bring with you anywhere and you can create loops and create little songs directly in the device. Now, if you have made something you like and you enjoy and you want to embellish on it and put it in your hardware and maybe you don't like the instruments because the instruments are not the best. Uh, they've gotten better with the last firmware update, but still, I have kind of a hard time finding very good instrument sounds I like. However, if you have found something and you enjoy the groove and you enjoy what you made, you can use the Orba 2 and simply transfer it over to MIDI on your computer just by playing it. And the way you do that is simple. There's a little loop on here and I'll just play it through the internal speaker. So as you hear, that's just a little simple loop. And now, say you wanna make a real arrangement out of it, you just connect it to your computer. And then in order to transfer, select what track you wanna transfer, you simply select it as the active play track. So let's say we wanna transfer the drums. We activate the drum track, and then we select the drums here, and then we can just start recording. And then just like that, we transferred the loop we had going here into Ableton. So that's it. Three different ways that you can use Orba 2 as a MIDI controller in your setup. One for beginners, one for advanced, and one for kind of both. So what do you think? Is this something that you would want to use in your music production setup? I would love to hear your thoughts. So please leave a, a comment in the description below about your thoughts. Now, thank you for watching. Please leave a like. And in the meantime, if you like quirky MIDI devices, you can check out this video right here where I talked about the digital wind instrument. And this video right here where I talk about how you can implement the TX6 
by Teen Age Engineering to control your DAW.